Welcome to 52 Weeks of Flow. This is a moving river podcast hosted by multifaceted entrepreneur and transformational coach Bia Marie Eni. In this podcast, we want to help you discover the concept of flow and show you ways to get into flow and how you can keep your life flowing. Hello, 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 and welcome to 52 Weeks of Flow, the podcast that delves into the depth of human potential and the transformative power of flow. I'm your host, Bea Maria Neen, and today we have a mind-blowing topic to explore, intuition. Buckle up, folks, because we're about to dive deep into the fascinating world of inner guidance and intuition. Just in case you're wondering why this sounds a little bit different than usual, my microphone broke and I'm just using my trusted Jedi Blue now. Let's see how this turns out. Now, let's kick things off with a rather daring thesis. When you're in flow, you can run through a minefield blindfolded because your intuition is guiding you. I know. I know, it sounds like a wild claim, but bear with me. Imagine this scenario. You're blindfolded. And there is a treacherous minefield ahead. Normally, fear would paralyze you. Your mind would overthink and you'd be stuck. But when you're in flow, you tap into something extraordinary. Your intuition. It's like having an internal GPS that guides you with unwavering precision. It's a powerful force that bypasses fear and taps into something greater within us. So how do we tap into this incredible superpower? Let's start by introducing a simple exercise to kickstart your intuition journey. Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Take a moment to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Really expand and inflate your belly, allowing your body and mind to relax. Now I want you to think of a decision you need to make, big or small, it doesn't matter. Picture yourself facing that decision. Take a moment to embrace the emotions that arise. Notice the thoughts that come up, fears, doubts, worries. Acknowledge them, but don't let them control you. Now gently shift your focus inward. Begin to pay attention to the subtle sensations in your body. Notice any tightness or expansion, any tingling or warmth. These sensations are the language of your intuition. Here's the thing though. The way my intuition speaks to me is different from the way you experience it. For you it might be a sudden image that flashes by or a physical sensation the so-called gut feeling. For some, it is more of an emotional response. So really take your time to slow down and sense how, where, and when you experience your intuition. It's easy to confuse the voice of intuition with the voice of your ego or your past programming. So how can we differentiate between them? Well. Let me give you a few indicators to look out for. Indicator number one, intuition feels light and expansive, while the ego and past programming tend to feel heavy and constrictive. So if you're feeling a sense of freedom, joy, or excitement, that's your intuition speaking. Indicator number two, intuition often brings a sense of clarity. It cuts through the noise and presents you with a clear path forward. On the other hand, the ego and past programming tend to create confusion and doubt. And last but not least, indicator number three. Intuition is often accompanied by a deep sense of trust. It's like a gut feeling that whispers, you've got this. The ego, on the other hand, thrives on fear and self-doubt. 
That being said, you can also use questions when practicing your intuition. Like before, slow down and think about a decision that you are facing right now. Feel into your body. What do you feel about the situation or the decision you're about to make? And then ask yourself one or all of the following questions. Does it feel like the right thing to do? Does it seem like the right answer? How do I feel when I think about this certain situation? What was my immediate gut reaction? Do I have a hunch about it? Where in my body do I notice a reaction? Is it more in my brain or in my heart or in my gut? If I did know the answer, what would it be? Those are really powerful questions and just one of them really, really brings you closer to hearing the voice of your intuition. Remember, dear flow seekers, intuition is a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it becomes. So make it a daily practice to connect with your inner guidance. Set aside a few moments each day to listen and trust the whispers of your intuition. At first, it's really, really quiet. But the more you practice, the more you listen to it, the louder it gets. Now, before we wrap up this mind-expanding episode, I want to leave you with a lighthearted thought. If intuition is like running through a minefield blindfolded, then consider your life a grand adventure. Embrace the uncertainty. Trust in your inner wisdom and let your intuition lead the way. Who knows? You might just uncover hidden treasures and navigate the most challenging terrains with grace and ease. And that's it. That's it for today. That's our show. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of 52 Weeks of Flow. I hope you found inspiration in our exploration of intuition. I'll be back next week with more insights, stories, and practical tips to keep you grooving in your flow. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to reach out either through Instagram at moving underscore river or via email bea at superwoman.coach. If you liked what you heard, then subscribe to our channel for the latest updates and write us a cool review. I'm grateful for you. Until then, keep shining, keep learning, keep growing, keep flowing.